Guys, 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 when I say, you know, girlfriend, da, 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 like these vegan girls, I'm typically joking. Like, it's been a joke. But this girl, I actually DM'd her a couple of years ago on Instagram. Of course, I didn't get a response. But hey, same story with the other several hundred DMs I've sent on Instagram. Maybe if I was wearing stilts in my Instagram pictures, I'd have some more ladies. And to be fair, I think she actually got some filler in her face or something because uh, she was very, I mean, stunning, like really, really, really pretty. Um, at least I remember her being a little prettier than she looks in this video. So it's kind of crazy that like even a young, beautiful blonde girl is still going to, I mean, her face clearly looks different. But uh, let's see if what she's eating to gain weight would have any effect on her in a negative way. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I kind of do have motivation to go to the gym, but that's pretty much it. I don't know, this weather just makes me want to like curl up in a ball, put fall decorations out, and lay there with a blanket watching movies and eating junk food. But that's not what we're doing. It is 11, 11.20 in the morning, but we're getting ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna take my pre-workout. In honor of spooky season and the fall, which is brew from Alani is back out, which I'm so happy because when this, before I was even sponsored by them last October, I guess it was, this flavor came out and I tried it. They sent it to me just as PR. It was my favorite flavor and I drink all of them. I don't even really drink energy drinks super often just because I'm always taking pre-workout and I can't like have both in one day, but they sent me. The I mean, she's like starting the video off with a sponsorship allegedly of an energy drink I've never heard of, so. Kind of fake, super fake, almost as fake as uh, the plastic in her face. And they didn't have the pre-workout form yet, and I drank the whole pack. And then I ended up having to go find them at different stores that still had them in stock, like, way after Halloween was over. Because the flavor is so good. It's supposed to be, like, a caramel apple, I guess. And they, like, nailed it perfectly. It's so crazy. You would think it's gross, right? Like, caramel apple in a drink. Like, you're kind of like, I don't know. Something about it is just so good. I definitely like the energy drink form more than this because it's, like, bubbly and it just adds more to it. I don't know, but... Super good, my favorite flavor. I'm really happy that it's. So these types of energy drinks, of course, they have a lot of artificial flavors, chemicals, just regular bleached conventional crap sugar. Not good for you. Caffeine, stress on the adrenals, aluminum can, toxic every day. It's just y young people typically tolerate this stuff as well as all the other crap they have in the modern diets. But then when people start falling apart in their 40s, even 30s, Hey, you know, we can we can point the finger at this type of stuff that they've been drinking their whole life. Back, I'm gonna take that, but first, I'm gonna eat an Uncrustable. Laura is always like yelling at me for eating these because she's like makes fun of me like as a joke. She says it's like junk, obviously, it kind of is junk. <laughs> this is like, this is this might be the silliest food we've ever seen someone eat in like some type of workout health oriented blog. A Smucker's Uncrustable? What is it, just full of like processed chemical-laden jam, vegetable seed oils, and refined white flour sprayed with glyphosate pests? I mean, it's got to be horrible. They're good. It's just peanut butter and jelly. Oh, uh, this peanut butter day. too, very bad. Omega-6, lots of mycotoxins. I, honestly, I don't know the name of it. I think they still have them on the website though. A little cropped zip-up. They still have this color as well. This is like an older launch, but they still have it on the website. And then for the leggings, these are the Wonder Leggings. I'm going to try to post this video literally the day that these launch. So hopefully if all goes well, I posted this and these go live in a few hours. They're super cute and flattering. I love mm. them. Clearly we know why you're so popular. Like this is grayish blue and it has like the marble print. If you watched my last video, you got all the details on them. I am not looking too hot today. If you're watching this on September 10th or any day after that, these leggings and this whole collection and the Bar City collection on out. So we went from plugging the pre-workout energy drink to eating an Uncrustable to plugging our clothing line, so. It's all live, so you can go check it out. I'll put the link down below. And if you want 10% off, you just use my code Claudia, ASMR. Ah, it's so good. Really good start. All right, so I feel like that's what a teenage kid would eat if uh, if they could just do whatever they wanted. All right, so she's going to do a, a butt workout because that's her main selling point, <laughs> which is like five minutes of this, you know, 10 minute video is just her doing squats. So go figure. 
Maybe this is why my fitness videos weren't popular. I needed to show my butt more. And that was it for my workout. I always make sure to finish my Is that the tool bag Jesse James West? Is that really him? My calves. I forget was that him? And they're looking kind of small, so it was time to give them a little push. And that was it for my workout. That's him, right? Sure to finish my water before I leave the Maybe not. It looks like him. headed to lunch. So, I mean, I don't know why this is titled How I Eat and Work Out to Gain Weight when you just posted like a four second clip of you having a Chipotle bowl. So it looks like some protein, some lettuce, some vegetables and, and chicken, especially the conventional chicken is so, so bad for you. Very inflammatory, lots of allergens, lots of pollutants, antibiotics. You know, there's just so much negative stuff that could be in there. The vegetables, especially like the, the low calorie stuff, the lettuce, the tomatoes, just full of whatever they were grown with, sprayed with. All those chemicals, again, the agrochemicals, the glyphosate, fluoride in the water, and just bad. And then she's having some tortilla chips, which are probably fried in vegetable seed oils, more inflammation from omega-6, and whatever she's dipping them in is, again, the same thing. Omega-6, little like vegetable seed oils. Very, very bad on healthy diet, uh, especially if, you know, this is really bad, actually. Way worse than some of the vegans we've seen. At least she looks pretty well eating it. It's like she has this... God knows how much she's paying for that apartment. Multi-million dollar apartment or the rent's probably well over 5000 a month. And you're eating freaking Uncrustables and Chipotle. It's these people... Dinner tonight, we're having turkey burgers, some mushrooms, lettuce, tomato, and I'm gonna cook them up and that's gonna be our dinner. This is like bro science. Like what you would think would be healthy from a conventional perspective. Turkey burgers and lettuce. The turkey is usually just as inflammatory as the chicken because it's the corn and soy feed. Lots of allergens, not good. Regular mushrooms, also not great. High in anti-nutrients, ah, usually a lot of pesticides bad. sprayed on them. You burnt my buns. <laughs> that sounds like Jesse James West. We did a video on him a few months ago. What a sad excuse for dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Ketchup and... It is him! <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Damn. Damn, what am I doing wrong in my life if Jesse James West stole my girlfriend? I need to reevaluate the. Uh, I need to reevaluate things. Mm. Good. Would you say that this meal is good for gaining weight and building muscle? For you, yes. For me? For me? For me? Uh, for me, it, <laughs> what? It's corn. Mm, corn. <laughs> I think this this is a great meal. Protein, carb, not too much fat. Good for building muscle. Good for gaining weight. I'm trying to make sure I eat lots of. Full meal, so lunch was Chipotle, obviously, and then dinner is turkey burgers, and then dessert will be Oreos. <laughs> Get you a man that does dishes. Yeah. Great meal. I mean, I don't, this is like, this is kind of, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous for me to even bother critiquing this because the amount of effort that went into this is, is minimal. It's like she's never read any book on diet or nutrition or watched a video on it in her life. You know, literally nothing. Well, I guess uh, the moment of truth... She's sponsored by Alpha Athletics for some clothing. She's still sponsored by the uh, energy drink company, apparently, right? Yeah, it's the energy drink stuff. So sh she was really just plucking her sponsors. Uh, thank you for making this realistic, showing how to rack the waist that you're not always motivated. Y you know, it it's hard to say how much of this stuff is fake or real. And, and that th these comments are kind of ridiculous. Oh, this is so motivational. This really motivated me to push further. Like, dude, she ate a fucking Pop-Tart for breakfast. Like, basically ate a Pop-Tart for breakfast. Like, it's... make You know, makes you wonder how much of these influencers' views and stuff is fake. Who knows? Who, who really knows? Who knows? I'm surprised she looks that good eating this crap, to be honest.
it was to show you how much of a role, you know, genetics, pretty face, and just working out consistently when you're young can kind of make up for a poor diet. But but if you eat like this for, you know, most of your 20s and 30s, you're going to have very poor cellular health. You're going to have very poor liver health eventually. You know, you're going to, you're going to age pretty quickly. You're not going to look good. Combine, combine this with nights of drinking, partying, and drug use. It's just not a great diet. Overall, the food quality has to be much higher. It has to be more balanced from a macronutrient perspective. Really go organic, remove all the negative chemicals. But, uh, hey, we got to sell Alpha Elite Athletics and uh, Alinunu <laughs> Energy Drinks. All right. I'm disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. You know, I thought my girlfriend was going to, you know, I thought it was going to be a little more entertaining. A little more entertaining, but oh well. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, check out frank stefanocom for all of my businesses, including Frankie's Free Range Meat. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.